Leslie for everything, and then Jeff and Julia for putting in a ton of work to make this a great night. <laughs> everything was wonderful. Jeff away. <laughs> I'm just going to take this as my opportunity to do so. Um, I'd like to think that I've earned the right, and I'll tell you why. Uh, Jeff and I have, as Kevin Hunt would say, a million billion stories together. I'm not going to list them all, but as a synopsis, uh, I mean, first off, we, we shared a bed until we were 11. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it was a trundle bed, so it, it pulls out to another bed. But to be even more fair, we never pulled it out. We just like, Never given that as a gift to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
And with that being said, this, the happiest day of your life, forever seals my fate as an unhappy and bitter person. <laughs> because Leah, I'm sure you understand exactly the misery that I am going through. Because there's this moment when you tell someone, oh yeah, my twin is marrying another twin. And you see the wheels like turning in their head. <laughs> and then they, they ask you, like, oh, like, what about the other twin? <laughs> I'm sorry if you've made that joke, but you are in the company of oh, hundreds of people. <laughs> and that company will sadly grow and grow <laughs> over my sad, sad lifetime. <laughs> Give the Latin family another big round of applause. Woo! The one who would now like to invite us, the best man, Mr. Jeff Dole. Come on up. fortunate to have a twin. It, you know, it, it bums me out that most of you won't be able to experience the joy of having a twin. It's really nice. Uh, but being identical twins, it's, it's really difficult to even know where to start because our entire life we've done absolutely everything together, including sharing a bed until we were 11, um, <laughs> which I've been told now is not a, a normal thing. <laughs> For every big part of my life, Evan's been there. When mom was out of town and dad made us eat lukewarm cream of chicken soup for dinner, he was there. When I needed someone to distract Leanne while I went and hid in her closet so I could then jump out and scare her, he was there. When we were on mile 20 of the no training marathon challenge, about to pass out and die, he was there. In, the, in kindergarten, when he got in trouble, and he was supposed to stay in for recess, and the teacher got us mixed up and kept me in for recess. He was not there. He was on the playground playing. Later quoted saying, I was just having too much fun. No one makes me laugh harder than Evan. He's a funny guy, and on family car trips, he would keep Leanne laughing so she couldn't breathe until the front seat told us to mute it. And I remember in junior high, one of the cool kids told me, Jeff, you're the cool one. Evan's the funny one, but you're the cool one. And at the time, I was like, oh, yeah, that's awesome. Because it was junior high, and that's all I cared about. But I, like, I even then knew, like, that sucks, because being funny is way better. 
<laughs> but more than just being a funny guy, Evan's a quirky guy. When he finds something new and weird, he fully commits to it. He gave himself shoulder issues when he first got his accordion from playing too much. <laughs> he built himself a cardboard helmet to practice head spins when he decided to get into break dancing. <laughs> he made himself a robot costume and then went and ran the Seattle Half Marathon by himself. <laughs> the only proof of which being a photo he took of himself in the bathroom. <laughs> These shoes I'm wearing right now, they're no ordinary shoes. They're Evan's tap dancing shoes. Also a part of Evan's great legacy. But I can't sit back and make too much fun of him because I've been pulled into plenty of those hijinks. There was that time that Baron Dylan and I got roped into going door to door selling no soliciting signs. <laughs> no one thought it was funny. <laughs> and then there was our bike trip across the country with Patrick and Dylan, where we were basically homeless for two months. I think we only had one knife between the four of us for all of our meals, and we would just lick it clean and then wipe it on our pants and be like, the knife's clean. <laughs> But Evan always convinced me to join in, because I've learned over the years that he's a leader. And when we were kids, we were really into Nintendo 64. <laughs> and like boating in the San Juans and like going to Lake Chelan, that was fine. But Nintendo 64 was what we lived for. And uh, we had a, a bunch of games that we played that were one player games. And I, I'd never played, I just watched him play. <laughs> but. I felt so much like that I was a part of the team. I didn't feel gypped at all. I was just like, like, it's like telling him like, oh yeah, press that button and like, try that. And every once in a while I'd play, but I'd hand the controller back to him when I got nervous. But I think I was just confident in his abilities to get stuff done. And to this day, I feel like I'm still that way. And it always encourages me to have him show up to an event or get behind an idea because a lot of the time I trust him more than I trust myself. So, I'm like, art school? Okay, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Get Ali's tattoo, name tattooed on your chest? I'll do that too. <laughs> <laughs> Having spent some time around Ali, I get his level of commitment, the tattoo level of commitment. <laughs> Ali, from the moment I met you, it was clear that you get that we only have one life to live, and that friends and family, faith and adventure is what's really important. And really when it comes down to it, you're perfect for Evan. I've seen some photos from Junior High Valley. I think you have your own quirky past as well. Um, so. Putting you guys together is real fun. A, a goofy bubble, as some might say. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really fun, though I know that you will do something unpredictable, like get a pet pig or name your kid something like Laser Dragon or Jungle Cat. <laughs> but really, that's what makes you two perfect for each other. And it's clear that you love each other more than anything else. And so. We're all excited for the crazy adventures you guys have together, and we're excited to share them with you. So we couldn't be happier. Evan, that you found someone you're so crazy about. Allie, welcome to the family. Evan and Allie. Let's give one more big round of applause for the best man, Jeff. And now if you could turn your attention to the dance floor.